Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about something awesome and cool. We're talking about me. Just kidding. We're talking about the pariahs of the internet, known as kick streamers. Bro, stop screaming at 15 year old gals on the street. If there is a good kick streamer, I have yet to find them. Likely, it is because they are overshadowed by the vast sea of insufferable douchebags that are also using the platform. There's a lot of good guys, actually. I take that back. Quite a few of my friends, uh, you know, perform <laughs> on kick or whatever. Kick's awesome, too. It's mostly a bit. Uh, it's better than Twitch. I like kick better than Twitch, but there's like a couple people that are just really bad on kick and there's two people specifically that are by god like uh kind of hard to quantify thank you to rocket money for sponsoring this video i recently found out i was being charged every single month for a subscription service that i forgot about and didn't use it was frustrating to see my money just <laughs> shooting out into space because i'm an idiot thankfully today's sponsor and a long time sponsor the channel rocket money is here to help rocket money is an all-in-one finance platform to help you save more money and spend less rocket money helps lower your bills manage subscriptions build custom budgets grow your savings and it's all in one place my main use of rocket money is to cancel unwanted subscriptions safely and securely with just a single tappy wappy roo it also helps me lower my bills with just a simple photo and i got a custom budget which sometimes i don't stick to but <laughs> It helps me stay on track. To save more and spend less, click the link in the description down below or go to rocketmoney.com forward slash oompa. Join the 5 million people using Rocket Money today. You can get started for free and unlock more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com forward slash oompa. Go get started for free. Click the link in the description and take control of your finances today, guys. And thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Today, we're not even talking about the latest and lamest activities of our popular friends on the platform that is known as Kick. Not the Island Boys, not Jack Doherty, not that guy that is, I think, maybe still in a mental ward. I, what's his name? Fousey. That's it. I forget these people's names. It just, as soon as I'm done recording, it disappears. We're treading new ground today. We're talking about two additional epic kick streamers that seemingly do not have a single good bone in their bodies. River McKeever, aka Slightly Homeless, and Harrison Da, aka Harrison IRL, also known as Cool Slick Live. Every time I learn about these people, I just can't, it just, it's mind boggling. I mean, for example, Harrison is known for having STDs. That's like his thing. Like I have a dog in a candy company, by the way, go to sour.gg, buy some candy. Um, this bro's got STDs. Let us not focus on one of these just yet. These are terrible individuals, and it turns out they are substantially worse than their cohorts. I mean, this truly sets the bar to a new level in which I did not know was possible. Slightly homeless, or as we will be referring to him in this video, River is a former reality TV star from a show called Super Nanny. You've probably heard of this show. It's a hit. It's a mega cult classic. And I actually remember River from when I was watching this show as a child. And I don't know what else I was supposed to be doing. Probably school. I was homeschooled. So, you know. These two little bastards in this episode of Super Nanny are absolute terrors to their parents. And they need this Super Nanny to come and rescue them to set them straight. She failed miserably. One of them is now a world famous kick streamer. So first off, we'll be going back a little bit and talking about Super Nanny because I do believe it's pertinent and it adds another level of flavor to this conversation that we're having, me, me and you right now, we're having a conversation, you and I, and I think you should just go ahead and sit on my lap for it. The episode aired back in 08 when Obama just became president of the United States of America. When River is first introduced to the show, he's violent, he's hitting, he's throwing things, he's being very destructive, he's being a bastard. Put it down. Put it down. You don't play with hot iron. Put it down. Him and his brother have driven their 40 plus year old parents to tears, which is kind of sad. And it's something you see quite a bit is just parents who cannot control their children. They can't relate to them. They can't understand them. They just it's emotional on both sides. It's bad, it's rotten. And that's why we've got the Super Nanny. But even as Super Nanny, Joanne Foster begins her observation of the boys. Little bastard, River, attacks her. What's your name? Rev, why are you doing that? Be nice. As soon as I met the young boys, they decided to attack me. And not only that, he's proud of it. He's a true ne'er-do-well, a rap scallion. He smiled about it in a later interview. He throws balls at her. And then the boys started throwing balls at me. <laughs> 
River! All right. River, stop it. He says, we need to beat up that lady. We need to beat up that lady. No, you don't. Now, I have to commend him for his focus on teamwork and building a community, but this is this is not going about it the right way. We could see all of this as Stop. epic foreshadowing for what's to come in this little man's life. Even at one point in this video, Corey, River's father, uh, puts him in a timeout, or at least tries to, and River just fights him, and it's seemingly an endless battle between River and anyone, anyone who's trying to get in his way. There's something wrong with this child. Stop now. Stop it, stop. Let me go. And there was this full-blown fight happening between Curry and his younger son. <laughs> Eventually, though, in the episode, it seems like they have a bit of a breakthrough with River during a homework session, but it's short-lived. At dinner time, he goes right back to being a absolute bastard. Go with that. Stop. 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 Riv. <laughs> fighting, throwing things, slurs. Just kidding, he didn't say any slurs, but he did He did throw things. And there's a lot of clips. Look at him. There's so many clips of him screaming, fighting. How about this clip? Is this clip foreshadowing? I'm gonna behave. You're gonna behave? Good. Right. Good. No, but we will use it a lot in this video. This episode of Super Nanny, by the way, all these episodes are lit. This show is so good. We need to bring back some reality TV, TV like this. It's just... So it's it's awesome. It's epic. Corey, the father, has a bit of a breakthrough with River's brother, Hunter. And this happens when he teaches him how to ride a bike without training wheels. Keep going, Hunter. You're doing fantastic. So having go, go, go. dad teach Hunter how to ride his bike will go a long, long way because he'll remember that his father taught him how to ride his bike. Unfortunately, we don't really get to see that sort of breakthrough moment with River, and I believe that that is exactly why we are talking about him today, because the Super Nanny didn't work out. Now, following this appearance on Super Nanny, River became a massive child star. He appeared on a show called Zeke and Luther, and by the way, massive, slight exaggeration, he was uh, in a couple shows, I think, I really don't know, but he got a taste of that silver screen and he went he went mad with it now river is a bit of a menace as an adult man with way less excuses you know his parents are not to be blamed at this point river still displays a lot of the same troubling behaviors that he displayed when he was six but now he's like 40. river's plan for making content is to just share his experience traveling around the world his journey around the world he's slightly homeless he doesn't have roots anywhere he's a uh he's a, he's a he's a wanderer that's cool i like that idea the slightly homeless that's a cool name it's Pretty sweet. He has a TikTok. He's talked about some of the places that he's gone to, like Iraq. I hitchhiked across Iraq with no money. It started in Baghdad, the capital of Iraq. Yes, the place where the US Embassy got RPG'd a couple weeks ago. Within minutes of hitchhiking, an Iraqi dude approached me and gave me 25,000 Iraqi. He also bought me a taxi to the bus station. So I got my bus ride and I go through my first checkpoint. He talks about granny prostitutes in Korea, which is pretty sweet. Hey guys, I hitchhiked across Iraq. I love grannies in Korea. In Korea, there's a ton of 80 plus granny They sit on the side of the road selling energy drinks to signal to customers who are in on it that they are You may think they don't get many customers, but apparently there's actually quite a bit of people that are interested in grandma. They send red pill, I think, right? Right guys, am I right guys, am I right guys? Kick is where he has now set up shop for his home. He's the least homeless on this platform. He's got over 10,000 followers, which is pretty cool. And all these people are ready to tune in at a moment's notice to watch his antics. During his time on Kick, he has collected some of the usual accolades of streamers his caliber. Harassment, abusive behavior towards people of the public, being yeah. racist. Our, our skin color is very similar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very similar. Yes. A I am Asian. Me, Asian. I'm Asian. Some of these behaviors even landed him in legal trouble. Kick streamer suspend us and slightly homeless allegedly arrested in Nepal. Content creators could possibly face up to 10 years in prison. That's unfortunate. He didn't go to prison for 10 years. He's he's still around. Now, how the f do you do anything in which a headline like this shows up uh, 10 years in prison? And then how this is your response? Just absolutely, absolutely just beating around the bush of taking responsibility for any actions he deflects blame like a true professional and accuses the Nepalese government of being corrupt. Dick streamer, slightly homeless as Nepalese government, extremely corrupt after being released from prison. Dude, well, name a f***ing government that isn't corrupt for one. And also, what are you doing? He even had a warning for Ice Poseidon, another favorite creator of ours, to get out while he still had a chance. Um, my warning to Paul and the others is that their government is very corrupt. It's very similar to Iraq, except that they're not very, well, they weren't violent in the end of Iraq either. 
It is very similar to Iraq, and the second they get any information on you, you're probably So, if I was you, Paul, if you're watching this clip right now, I would get the hell out of there, because uh, you're not gonna be safe. How corrupt are they? They're just letting people go. They let ICE go as well, man. Corrupt in his favor. Also, just to be clear, the Nepalese government is incredibly corrupt, so I am on slightly homeless's side here. One example of epic corruption in Nepal is falsely identifying citizens as refugees, then promises of resettlement in the United States in exchange for bribes. Now that <laughs> is f***ing corruption, dude. So what did this idiot do to land himself in the crosshairs of the Nepalese government? Allegedly, he was flirting with a 15-year-old and another streamer that was with him, Suspendus, was also arrested for association with him. Now, the reason that I say allegedly is because I cannot find the clip of him doing anything too egregious in Nepal, but there are some clips in which we can give some legitimacy to this claim, potentially. Him and Sam Pepper, a fellow that makes Logan Paul look like a good, trustworthy guy, are walking down the street. They greet a girl. Sam calls her a 15 year old and says that he shouldn't yell at underage girls. Good call! <laughs> Hello, how are you? Bro, stop screaming at 15 year old girls on the street. You're not 15. You wouldn't know about 15 year old girls, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I looked at her and I saw that she was a 15 year old gal and you screamed 15. at her. Here's a clip of him being confronted by the police in a diner. Close it. Miss, just a minute. Okay. Miss Close. Miss Close. I don't know. Should we get out of here? We're okay? What do we We are here for the he wasn't arrested oh, on camera, but allegedly it happened once the camera shut off at the end of the clip. And this is them allegedly being escorted into a police station. Allegedly, oh, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I say allegedly because I don't know 100%. Another streamer who is actually from Nepal was able to accompany a representative from the U.S. Embassy to go see them. River claims that he was rapping and said something he probably shouldn't have said, which is definitely true because the rap was just him screaming about jacking off. The ambiance of this young old Ultimately, oh, yeah, I'm from. I'm masturbating in the alley. Apparently, I'm from the valley in Cali. Then I can look at my salary. Five thousand dollars. You're just sucking on my. She said that shit is like a stick. She wants it so hard inside of her. She said it's almost like notorious big. He's the child star version of Kanye. Let's put it that way. The rap is in fact so based in Red Pill that Sam Pepper walks away to disassociate himself. Now, all this is indicative of a deeper issue with uh, River and Slightly Homeless, whatever his name is. He kind of has a habit in seeking out young women trying to get them to kiss him and also allows his chat to just be bastard savages to to these people as well i mean it's just classic sort of small twitch streamer or kick streamer behavior this doesn't happen on on twitch big w for, for twitch there this fellow on reddit said watch this slightly homeless guy for like four or five days here's why he's a piece of shit his community refers to his content as content where he goes and actively seeks young women trying to charm them into flirting and going out with him he allows his chat to be really misogynistic, sexist, and rude towards these young women, and he does f all to moderate it. He tries to get these girls to kiss him on stream, and he knows this kind of stuff gets views. In his post-jail stream, he seemed to completely blame the Nepal police and not take any accountability for being a f***ing creep towards possibly young girls and also for being insensitive towards the local culture. So what do you guys think? Based on the clips we've shown in this video so far, the ancient tale of Super Nanny, I think this guy might be a piece of shit. I'm not 100% sure though. Here's a few more instances that might convince you. Here is an instance from a video in Korea where he showcases trafficked women. He says he only asks how much for journalistic integrity. There's also a time he met up with a girl at her hotel and told her that he was gonna stop streaming, but he just hid his phone in his pocket and kept the stream on. Kick Degenerates is like one of my favorite things. This is so insane that this exists, that these people are real. This fella named Spree on YouTube made a video called Slightly Homeless, Child Actor to Deprave Streamer. And we pulled a clip from his video. Go check his video out. He even tries to get a kiss from a girl and calls her a latte and then asks if he can drink her. You're like a latte with 20 cigarettes. Yeah, and I really want to drink you. <laughs> Would you drink me? What the f kind of creepy bastard does this? He even made a proposition to another streamer, Bung Bung IRL, for sex. He wanted, he wanted to, he wanted to have sex, I guess. I'll give you like... 
30,000 won. Let's get a rim and have sex. 30,000 won. I think that's like 30 bucks. Maybe 40 bucks. Now for the next part, this arc, whatever you might call it, I don't know the exact timeline, but I'll do my best to kind of articulate it in the way that I understand it. Bong Bong gives this guy, River, a warning on her live saying that he is banned from Korea. And if he comes back, she will call the police. That was on November 14th, or at least the clip that we found was uploaded on November 14th. If you ever come back, are we gonna... If you ever come back, okay. If you're gonna live, I'm gonna directly call the police. On November 24th, River uploaded a video titled, I survived walking across Korea. On November 24th, the same day that the video went live, Bong Bong claimed to file a police report against River. These clips are all posted on this channel called RT, who just re-uploads clips of streams. I don't know who is posting these. I don't know if this is like a chronic viewer of Slightly Homeless and Bong Bong. I don't really know. This is when River's misogyny sort of rears its ugly head as if that's like the worst of all the problems we're dealing with here. He told a girl that she was ugly because she's white. Actually, I'll be completely honest with you. I think white girls are fucking ugly and you're kind of ugly. No, but not because you're ugly. It's not because you're ugly. It's because you are white. Sounds like this man's got preferences. The funny part about this is that his chat was even appalled by the way he treated this woman. That is ridiculously. Legit homeless people are a lot cleaner and smarter than him. That's true. He is an absolute idiot. Watching a lot of his content, I don't know if I've ever seen someone so mind-numbingly stupid. People condemned it on Twitter too. They said he should get deported. It's ironic because he was also deported from Nepal after his alleged treatment of underage girls. The saddest part of all of this and the craziest part is that this content could be amazing. I mean, he's touring some really dangerous and interesting places. He's like Lord Miles, if Lord Miles was just a massive piece of shit. River showcases how inexpensively you can do cool stuff. It had so much potential, uh, but the fact that it's focused around an individual with zero respect, care, uh, or, or, or sort of any sort of love for anything around him, it leaves it feeling very flat and ultimately disappointing. And Terrible. He has done some cool stuff though. He went to abandoned places in Turkey and got chased by a security guard with a machete. Wait, 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 please. Stop. Get away. This guy's. This guy's. Dude, fuck off. Stop. Please. Stop. You do. Okay. Let's stop. Okay. Stop. Dude. He even went into an alleged Yakuza illegal gambling location. He's going in. Can I enter? I think. <laughs> I feel like Japan is so much fun. I want to go hang out with the Yakuza, dude. Yakuza. I always, people get mad at me whenever I say Yakuza. I say it on purpose. It's Yakuza. This old boy could have been cool, but instead he's just like Johnny Somali, Jack Doherty, Neon, and Fusi, all those idiots. Harrison Newland, the other guy in this video that we're going to be talking about, also known as Harrison IRL or Cool Slick Live. That's a pretty funny name. This is a streamer cut from a similar cloth as the other guy. Though thankfully, he hasn't achieved as much mainstream attention as River. And by that, I mean he has 3,000 followers instead of 10. <laughs> he doesn't have as much of a footprint either, but the footprint stinks like shit and I can smell it from 15 miles away. This guy's channel, Cool Slick Live, got deleted or banned or something like that. Um, he still has Harrison IRL, his other channel, but still it must be new because there's not that many followers and I didn't really feel like looking that far into it. This is his only broadcast and it's titillating. I love this content. This guy is being accused of some very heinous, heinous things like intentionally spreading STDs. Now this allegation probably stems from the following clips. He told Ice Poseidon that the night before, he had unprotected S-word with a girl later finding out that she had HIV. I f***ed a girl last night, this morning. I f***ed her raw, and then I found out a couple hours later, she has HIV. Oh, get, you gotta get away from me, dude. <laughs> Bro, why, why you fuck? first of all, why you prostitute raw. She wasn't a prostitute. He then tells Ice Poseidon that he has been tested and is taking HIV medication. Now, having HIV and spreading HIV intentionally are two wildly, vastly different things. So why exactly are there claims of him allegedly spreading it? I'm a little bit burnt out on this, to be honest. Because in the past week, <laughs> uh, the past week I've literally slept with like seven different girls and I'm fucking... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit tired of it. I don't know how many. It's probably been like six, seven, or eight. I don't know. 
And out of ha I'd say like half of those I did. Half of those I used a condom. On his Twitter, he talks about being upset that he didn't have an S word with more than three women in one day. It's crazy that I can sleep with three girls in one day, but be annoyed that I didn't do even more. He tried combating the STD allegations by saying, you can accuse me 1,000 times, but I don't have any STDs. It's just weird, bro. It's like you want me to have them to validate your creepy stalker hate. <laughs> the, the replies do not believe him at all. One thing that I think is incredibly important to share is that there is a Reddit post that kind of spearheaded this entire thing that seeked to expose him for his disgusting actions. And, uh, and this post contains a lot of links to threads that are now deleted because of his account being suspended. You can check out the page. It's terrible. It's full of horrible shit. There's one clip from his stream where he talks about leaving Japan because there's people after him. I won't be in, J in Japan for much longer, though. I'm going to need to uh, go to another country somewhat soon. It's a pain in the ass for me to stream in Japan just because it's a bit risky for me. I wish I could stream more, but it's a little bit scary to stream when you have people out for you. And you guys know Johnny Somali, he's in jail for like 50 years. He's undergoing Chinese water dragon torture, I think. That's Japan though, so maybe not. Maybe I made that up. I'm not sure. There are people that are just kind of tracking his location openly on Twitter. People on the Taiwanese internet act very angry, but Taiwanese people I meet outside are very nice. I had fun clubbing in Jinyi District last night for New Year's and only met nice people. Happy New Year's. A more recent tweet, there is a reply that implies that they found where he's streaming from near the Health Eye Clinic. So you can see by people's responses to this guy that they are becoming violently angry towards him. Why? We don't really know. His last channel thing was deleted and suspended, so it's difficult to find any sort of record of the things that he's really been doing, but people do genuinely hate this guy beyond just allegations people can hate this guy maybe a reason that people don't like him is the accusations of him being a file that's what people accuse pretty much anyone they don't like on the internet but uh in one clip this guy admitted to trying to pick up high school students some of them are like seniors in high school like 18 and they still gave me their number they were 18 years old um but like High school students still people also don't like him because he's obsessed with stream sniping He likes to show up on other people's streams all the time. And he also loves sex as well If you hadn't noticed there's another thing that he does that people don't like where he acts like he knows nothing about the streamers that he's Clearly stream sniping and trying to leech off of do you like otk? Uh, I'll be honest. I'm not really familiar with streaming all that. Oh, okay. Oh my god. You're such a cringe I'm really happy with the Japanese response to these kick streamers coming. Um, one of them already went to jail, Johnny Somali. I hope this becomes a trend. I genuinely do. I hope people that are making a bad name for anyone, whether it just be kick streamers or just white guys, just fucking put them in jail. I don't care. I really don't know, man. I, I gotta say, there is no reason for anyone to do any of this stuff. Anyways, don't spread toxicity. Don't spread evil. Be a good person. Log off eat grass or whatever they say. Bye.